Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? Messages, guidance, please, for Virgo regarding love. Spare, what do we need to know for Virgo? Okay. Oh my gosh. So what you can expect in love. Seven of Swords. Wow. And death. Yikes. Virgo. What's going on? Seven of Swords and death. Scorpio energy here with the death card. Something must have happened um, recently that is still ongoing. Because I don't think that this is something that just happened out of nowhere. What are uh, the past influence on this energy or insight on this energy? The High Priest is reversed. Something came to the light. Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Something came to the light, Virgo. I feel like someone is being seen clearly for who they are. Or their own actions have led to an ending or a change here. How are you feeling? What are your energies? Ten of Pentacles. The Sun reverse. <sighs> okay. I feel like a lot of you were dealing with an illusion here. And I'm also getting like a dream has died. An idea that you had, what you thought was happiness, stability is not. What about the other person? King of Swords reverse, Five of Wands. Yeah, you're dealing with someone, this is gonna be a very, I feel, clear reading. You're dealing with someone who was not a good partner, um, could have deceived you, kept something from you. There was just drama and conflict here, Virgo the hell's going on what can you expect or not what can you expect but what do you need to know that might be hidden from you any hidden factors three of swords reverse four of wands reverse yeah there could have been some some sort of um interference that got in the way of your connection and destabilized it this could have happened at home um there's a lack of harmony in the home a lack of stability here in the home what can you expect in the near future? Queen of Cups reverse, Page of Cups. Someone could apologize to you. Um, there could be a new offer coming in for you in the near future here. Something that is, I don't know, a, a much needed change. Because, geez, you've been going through something that hasn't been fair to you here. I feel like you were deceived. So what's the bottom of the deck or the overall energy? Why everything is happening Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups reverse, heartbreak, disappointment, sadness, um, Queen of Cups is reverse, someone's not dealing well, their emotions are all over the place here, I don't know what's going on, but this is not a reading for those Virgos that are happy in a connection, I just don't see that, I feel like this has been something that has been building up or has happened over time, the devil reversed after that, so I think that's just fascinating. So let's clarify. Let's get to the bottom of this for Virgo. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know for, for Virgo? What do we need to know? Clarity, insight, please, for these energies. The sign of Virgo. Magician at the bottom of the deck. I like that. Okay, so let's see. Ace of Cups reverse. Why? This is the why everything is happening. Um, kind of like the, the root, the foundation of everything. So what happened here with Ace of Cups reverse? Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. For Virgo. The Chariot. Cancer energy. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse, please. Can you tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse? Oh, I got two. The Star. Aquarius energy and the devil shows up Capricorn energy I really feel like someone wants to leave and I, I mentioned the, the departure here because um this devil is reversed at the bottom of the deck over here but 
is showing up upright here in the, and it's paired with an ace of cups reverse. So I feel like there has been uh, a difficult environment that someone has been dealing with, toxic energy, restriction, attachments, unhealthy attachments. And I feel like someone's just ready to kind of like leave this behind. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, Four of Cups. Someone's like checked out, not interested, not satisfied. Um, King of Swords is here as well. I feel like there's some sort of clarity or information that someone has. A truth, um, a logical way of looking at things. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords too. There is no like, let me lie to myself or wear rose-colored glasses with them. They see the truth at all times. I feel like with the star, I'm getting like hope from this card. So even though things are tough, even though um, things have been restrictive or unhealthy, Virgo, I feel like you still see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, there's still hope here. Tell me about this star. What can you tell me about the star? Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's still hope, and I feel it's because someone is still, it's like someone's not giving up on love. Maybe they're talking to someone new, maybe there's some sort of new information, a message that comes in that gives you hope. Okay. I'm also getting emotional healing from the Star and the Ace of Cups. Someone healing from what's happening or not letting this beat them. So tell me about the Seven of Swords and Death. To me, this is so clear, but let's see if we can get some more insight. Tell me about the Seven of Swords with the Death card. The Moon, yeah. Pisces energy here with the Moon. Secrets, doubts, confusion, things hidden in the dark, an illusion. Once again, an illusion here with the Moon. The Moon is, it comes out and it, it's a light source you know like moonlight but it's not very strong you can't see as clearly with the moon as you can with the sun so it's it could distort things tell me about the seven of swords and the death card tell me about the seven of swords and death yeah six of swords someone is leaving this situation or perhaps someone left um, and it hurt you but I have a feeling that with the chariot here the six of swords um, and it's you know with a death card I feel like something ended and someone's like leaving what else do we need to know about this seven of swords and the death card spirit four of swords yeah again with like this healing energy I'm also getting quiet energy so perhaps there was um I don't know a lot of reflection that someone did on what happened I don't think this was a departure where someone was like I've um sudden uh without thinking so I don't see this as a rash decision I think that this was just probably the last thing that happened before you pulled the trigger or before you were and, and by the way you can flip this energy too this could be all about the person that you're dealing with if they're the they're the ones that probably left something too so take it as a resonance but someone has has left or this is what's happening in the near future because this is what you can expect tell me about the high priestess reverse and the two of pentacles reverse tell me about the high priestess reverse and the two of pentacles reverse Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse and the Two of Pentacles Reverse. Can I get one more, please? High Priestess Reverse and Two of Pentacles Reverse. This is like the past energies or the energies that are influencing what's going to happen. So we have the King of Wands, Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a very Virgo card for me as a reader because they just have, you know, all of, they're enjoying all of the hard work and effort that they put into something. They are very independent. They are attractive, stable. Um, I feel like you have found your groove. It's, it, it's, 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 it's almost like whatever happened was liberating. 
There's like um, pain, but also relief. And this Knight of Cups is interesting to me because I'm thinking of this Page of Cups. Let's see if I'm right about that. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. What can you tell me, Spirit, about this Knight of Cups? What's this Knight of Cups about? Six of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Two of Swords. I feel like this is somebody that might apologize to you and is hoping for success, but I think you're not sure. I feel like in your mind, you don't know if you can really trust this person. Maybe they're still holding things back, or perhaps this is just them unwilling to, and, uh, to let go of you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I don't know. I feel like there's something new on the horizon for you. And you're debating whether to take that new thing or stick with the past. But I think whatever came out here with the High Priestess Reverse, it, it it's with someone's actions. I, I just feel like you caught someone doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And I feel like when you found out... This other person wanted to fix things, but you, in your mind, I'm almost picking up like, okay, I know now that that's the truth. What am I going to do about that? Because now I know the truth. There's no doubts here. There's no more illusion. So there's relief, but I feel like there's also like a decision you have to make. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit? Can we get some insight on this Knight of Cups? Queen of Wands. Yeah, Five of Swords. I feel like this is somebody that wants to... They don't want to lose. I'll just put it like that. This is someone that doesn't want to lose even though they should lose. Because I feel like they might have had a part to play. You, I mean, someone deceived you. And I feel like it could have been this person. Five of Swords at the bottom here. Maybe it was somebody you lived with. So let's look at your energies. All right, Spirit, can we get some insight into the energies between Virgo and this other person that they're dealing with? Tell me about Virgo's energy. What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? Okay, we have victory lap and breathe in. Yeah, a lot of you are going through some sort of healing, um, reflection, meditation, rest, um, really thinking about success, about how to be successful, uh, about how to make something happen here with uh, victory lap and breathe in. So what about the person that you are, were, or could be dealing with in the future here? What about the other person? What do we need to know about this other person's spirit that Virgo has been dealing with past life. So this person's from your past, paralyzing fear at the bottom of the deck and hidden feelings. Yeah, this person kept something from you and they didn't want you to find out, but I feel like your intuition guided you here with inner voice or you found out the answers. Whatever was hidden is no longer hidden and now this person's freaking out about it. I feel like you have a history with this person. Let me get a Kipper deck. Can we get one more, please, for Virgo? Can we get one more, please, for the energies between Virgo and this other person? Spare, so what do we need to know about Virgo's energy? What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? Great fortune, yep. Tell me about the person Virgo is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about their energies what do we need to know about this other person main male concern yeah this person's worried bottom of the deck courtship i think this person's worried you could be dealing with a masculine energy but they're concerned they're worried they're anxious and uh, they should be because i feel like you are doing something about what you found out or what you realized here Now, great fortune. I feel like there's some sort of opportunity, some sort of, um, let's see what that actually means in the book. Do I have the book? Yeah, I do. Let's 
This is the most enabling, powerful, and positive card. All the significant significators wishes are coming true. Good luck, triumph, wealth, happiness. Yeah. I feel like you're doing okay. You will survive this. You know, you will be able to make it through. You will be able to deal with whatever the outcome is here. And I feel like that might not be the case for this other person. I feel like they're worried because maybe they have more they have more to lose than you. Or perhaps it doesn't matter who's losing more. You're just in a different state of mind. Maybe your way of seeing the situation is a little more clear, a little more hopeful, a little more, well, it all happened. What do I do about it, right? Solution oriented. Whereas this person's probably like, holy crap, what am I going to do? I'm freaking out. So let's look at this 10 of pentacles and the sun reverse. What do we need to know? for Virgo about this 10 of Pentacles and the Sun Reverse. What do we need to know? Queen of Cups. What do we need to know about the 10 of Pentacles and the Sun Reverse? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're doing, you're balancing, you're um, finding harmony and balance. You're finding things are coming together for you. Yeah, because you realize something now, judgment. You have clarity now. Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you know where to go. You have options. You have uh, choices that you can make, but it's like at least you have choices. Um, I feel like you have decisions that are important and all that, but I feel like there's you see something very clearly now, intuitively. Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this is not typically like you, Virgo. You know, Virgos are very practical, very grounded energies, very... Um, by the book type energies um uh you guys are great at information and processing information and um education and ed and uh learning um but i feel like this is more of an emotional shift that's happening for you there's something happening with you that is like your your emotions are balancing your intuition is strong you're seeing something very clearly I'm also getting, um, some of you could be dealing with a situation where, and this is going to sound crazy, but it's like your personal life is on fire, but your career is at an all-time high. Okay, tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with. What do we need to know about the King of Swords Reverse and the Five of Wands? What do we need to know about the King of Swords Reverse and the Five of Wands? Wow, King of Pentacles. Well, I can tell you right now, a King of Pentacles would not do this. So I feel like this is you. I feel like despite the drama, you are still, you're, you're almost like on the, you still look good at the end of it. Or, you know, I don't know how better to say that. <laughs> tell me about the King of Swords Reverse and the Five of Wands. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Page of Swords. Interesting. I don't know what they would want to talk about, but they want to talk to you. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Um, they could be observing you. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like this person could have um, been in another partnership, an early partnership. Maybe it didn't mean anything. Maybe it was a fling. Maybe this was a something that got out of hand or something like that. Because courtship is usually a card about like dating, meeting people early stages of a connection i don't think this is the early stages of a connection so either something happened um outside of you and i would say that there could be a third party because the three of swords is reverse so i don't know if this person lied to you about other people um or something happened early in your connection that you didn't know about and are now finding out about this person wants to talk what tell me about this page of swords Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's this about with the Page of Swords? The High Priestess. Yeah, this person's worried because I think they want to talk about what's been hidden, uh, but there's trust issues now. You don't trust this person because of what happened. So this is you. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Tower. You're like, I don't know what you need to talk to me about. I am traumatized by what happened. I don't trust you at all, etc., etc. This person knows that. They know that this is like... 
this probably will not work out for them. So let's see, what do you need to know about this Three of Swords reverse and the Four of Wands reverse? This is kind of like what you don't know that you need to know. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. Page of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this energy? The world. Yeah, this is the initiative for something new. Tell me more about the Three of Swords reverse and the four of wands reverse i'm also picking up like something comes in for you yeah i think this is something that comes in for you that makes you very happy ten of cups is at the bottom of the deck two of wands i feel like there's probably some some sort of opportunity virgo that comes and i say it's you because you have great fortune um you have um what was it that i saw that i felt was for you the ace of cups and the star this page of cups, I feel like it's for you. I think you're going to get like, um, it's almost like spirit gives you an out. I don't know. Like they help you with this decision. Yeah, there's the wheel of fortune. Exactly. Something comes in as if by magic. And it's almost like the out that you needed or the push that you needed or something like that. Like a parachute. So where is all of this headed? We have the Queen of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups. What can you tell me about this Page of Cups with the Queen of Cups reverse? What can you tell me about this Page of Cups with the Queen of Cups reverse? Also, I find it fascinating that we don't have a lot of pentacles on the board. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and... I think that's it. Two of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Pentacles. But they're not, there's no like offers or opportunities or tangible things other than the Ten of Pentacles for you. So it's almost like this person can offer you emotions, Page of Swords, communication, King of Cups. Yeah, this is the person that I feel is feeling overwhelmed by what's happening. They're not doing good. They, they're, it's like almost like they're, they're, I honestly feel like this person might beg. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups. What can you tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups? What can you tell me about? Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the person out in the cold, but they're out in the cold Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, because of their own actions. Yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I feel like something comes in for you and it scares this person because you're going to be free. Look at this. Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Fool. Like, they're scared that you're going to be free is not kind of what I'm seeing. This new opportunity. I think that when they do come in, this might make you pause and think about what they're saying. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups, please. Oops. Okay, hold on. This is a mess. I'm going to take these two that came out. Three of Swords, Injustice, Libra Energy, Death card to the bottom of the deck, Scorpio Energy. I feel like they're going to try to make things right, but it might be too late. Because they might say, I'm really sorry, Let's. I, I'm serious about making things right, I'm serious. I feel like justice is going to happen for you, Virgo. And then there's death card. I feel like things are, and you had a reading recently, if, it, if this resonates for you, check out the other reading. The title is something like, This Had to End. I go into that reading, um, in the middle of that reading, I go into this theme of, this was meant to happen. That's exactly what I'm getting here especially when death shows up. Death for me is not exactly equal as the 10 of swords, for example. Death for me is a transformative ending. Um, and I almost see it as a kind of like a spiritual thing. A cycle comes to a close. You're no longer the same. Things end, but they end for a reason. Whereas 10 of swords for me as a reader is like something happened that broke your heart and something happened that made you feel betrayed um, and something could have ended but it's not the same as the death card so I feel like the death card showing up twice is very symbolic here 
I also find it fascinating. You have um, a lot of major arcanas, a lot of major shifts in energy for you, uh, Virgo. I was just going to say Scorpio because of the death card is here. Um, I think you're stepping into a new cycle and it's going to be a cycle that makes you feel good. It's going to be a cycle where your your wish wishes come true. Um, what you want is granted. You know, you are going to be in a more fulfilling um abundant cycle state of mind etc etc fill in the blank and i don't think that it's the same for this other person i think this other person maybe they're learning a karmic lesson or maybe um you this person was meant to be a lesson in your life for go 